Well, when I ordered my Bronco, I did not specify a rear hitch. And as I thought about it, after getting it and having it and having some fun with it, I thought, you know what? It'd be useful if I had a rear hitch, not for trailering things over the highway, but just for other little projects. So today, we're gonna put on a rear hitch. Well, the first thing I did is I went and searched for the OEM part on the internet and discovered that most Ford dealers are selling the part for about $276, some as high as $400. Now, the part you see here is very similar to the part that I have purchased, and I'm going to show you in a minute, with one additional exception. There's a wiring harness mount over here on the left of this part. Let's zoom in on that that is not present on the device or the uh, the tow hitch I purchased from an aftermarket party. And that was kind of on purpose. After doing some research, I did not want to spend at least initially time splicing in the wiring harness into the wiring loom in the Bronco. There is not apparently a plug ready for the expansion into a tow hitch. So, what I ended up doing is looking for a reputable third party. And I selected this part from Real Truck, uh, a Kurt brand. And Kurt is a you know very well-known brand in the tow hitch accessory marketplace. And it was $111 with free shipping. And I said, that's the one for me. So I went ahead and placed my order for that. Let's see what we get when it shows up. All right, well, let's take a look at where this receiver hitch is going to be connected see what we need to know about it pardon the shaky camera as I get down and look up but it's not too complicated it goes right here let's see if we can get a zoom in on that there are four four bolts bolt holes one two three and four along this back this back connecting frame member and the receiver hitch just goes up and onto this with a U-bracket and then bolts through the frame. So we're gonna put that together. All right, well, let's take a look at what we're gonna to need today to put this tow hitch onto the new Bronco. The first thing we're looking for is a new tow hitch. This is a Kurt tow hitch. Kurt's a pretty well-known name in the towing accessories business. So let's pull this out. It's a pretty heavy duty item right there and it conveniently comes with the uh, the bolt and nut kit. We'll get to that in just a minute. So that's probably the fastest unboxing video we've ever seen, right? So as I showed you a minute ago, we've got a channel of, on the frame with some holes already drilled into it. This will just go right up on there and we'll put the bolts through there and we will be in business. The tools we're going to use today will be normal box wrenches, socket, maybe those, and then to speed up everything, a big believer in using my electric wrench. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. We're just going to lift this up into place, just like this. We'll find our first hole. You can see already this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> ah. Might be a little more challenging than I thought just because face dropping this on myself. There we go. Okay, there's one. 
these bolts are long and you can see fighting with this muffler is going to be an interesting challenge for half a minute here okay we found the secret I have to come at them from the side and that makes it work okay Okay, so we've got the four through bolts from that direction. Now what we need to do is get these nuts on. So we need to pull one of these bolts through. And then thread it onto the, onto the nut. There's not a lot of room to work with right up here. I'll try to get a shot of this here in a minute. These are three quarter inch. Yeah, the electric wrench just isn't gonna work for this. So time to get a different tool. Okay, we're back with a different tool here. It'll help us get this thing put together. So we're gonna put our good old trusty open end wrench right over there socket wrench right here. Naturally it's going the wrong way. Okay. Let's tighten that up a little bit just to make it firm. And then we're gonna want to slide it over just a just a hair. Okay that's a little bit too firm apparently. Back that out a teeny bit. Okay. I'm going to slide it just about an eighth of an inch that way. So we're going to all right, right about there. Okay. Perfect. So while it's sitting there, we'll go ahead and. Tighten up this guy on the other end. I've got one of the bolts backed out. So that I can see where those drilled slots are to make sure I'm centered. Yeah, I'm about dead center right there. So we'll go ahead and cinch this guy right up. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the same with our other outside guy. All right, there we go. Go ahead and check the tension on each of these the torque and done well let's go ahead and look at our new tow hitch in position good receiver hitch location right here very very sturdy device accessory you can see the through bolts right up here four on that side with washer four on this side with the integrated serrated washers okay well we're good to go with this 111 dollars for this guy with the mounting kit so we saved ourselves a lot of money Okay, now we take a look from the back with the job completed. We've got our receiver hitch mounted down here. Looks really, really good. You know, and one of the things that receiver hitches do to 
to help out when you're really actually off-roading. Because if you do hit something, an obstacle, whatever, on the back end as you come up through a pile of rocks or something, your receiver hitch, this and then perhaps a hitch that you've got located inside of it, can do a good job of kind of being your last line of defense to support the vehicle as you may drag, drag over rock and not damage your bumper or do too much damage to your toe strap connections right here. That's been my experience anyway. I think that looks good. $111, guys. I'll put a link in the description box below.